Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, welcome back to the Opinion Hated Podcast, and you know I go by the name of Ace. I'm Joe. Yes, sir, and we back in the motherfucking building, Let's you know go, what I'm saying? Man. What's Gucci? Hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? Once again, man, we back, this is the Opinion Hated Podcast, man. The hated ones, man. Yes, sir, shout out to all the hated ones out there. Yep. You know, like shit. Keep following. <laughs> yes, indeed. You know how you feeling, nigga? I'm good, bro, I'm chilling, man. Yeah. Same shit, man. Trying to see what's going on. Trying to make sense of this debate. Yeah. What's going on with you, bro? Uh, shit, man. I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling real good today. You I know see, man. Saying? I see you ain't got your shades <laughs> on today. Fuck, I got his shades with his head yeah, on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I decided to go without all that bullshit. Yeah, man. man. You know Fuck, feeling good today, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, before we get started, you know, I want to go ahead and shout out Big Red Entertainment. Yes, sir. You, know, so. you know, we was outside yesterday a little bit. You know, out in Forbes Reserve, you know, we got a chance to witness a little bit of the the, uh, the taping for the documentary yep. that's coming out soon. So shout out to everybody in her camp, you know, uh, Passion and Prince Egypt and uh, Tiffany and Siobhan and everybody. We got know. Tia Songbird as yep. well. You know what I'm saying? Phoebe. Ocho Mexico, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody, you know. Love to all y'all, man. Yeah, you know. Uh, unfortunately, you know, I could spend the whole day out there, but, you know, like, for the for the little bit of time I was out there, it was nice, you it know. It did, man. It was, yeah. man. And also, you know, we want to shout out that nigga Troy Thompson, you know what I'm saying? That nigga out yep. here putting that work in, you know Working what I'm hard, man. Yeah, yeah, out here filming everybody's shit, you know, he getting to it, you Bases know, over loaded. there. Bass is loaded. You know, so get in tune with that, man, you know, so, but, you know, with all that being said, man, y'all just make sure y'all be looking out for a No Love the documentary, that shit coming out soon, you know, yeah. but, uh, you know, really, shit, motherfuckers pretty much got here today, because shit, niggas was, like, I don't know if y'all seen them debates and shit over the week. Shit sad, man. <laughs> <laughs> Like, Sad. for real, you know what I'm saying, seeing them debates, and I ain't really seen too many debates in my life, you know right. what I'm saying, like, I probably seen about three of them motherfuckers, I know I watched the primaries and shit like that at one point in time, and it's just like, man, these niggas be looking like little ass kids out Big here. ass kids, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that shit we got Joe for the crap, yeah. man, Joe for yeah. the bull- Trump a bu- fucking bully, bro. Yeah. Trump a yeah, bully, yeah. man. Yeah, he definitely is, you know, like, that shit's funny, man. Motherfuckers out there talking shit. I ain't know what the fuck I was watching, you know what I'm saying? But that shit was entertaining, though. Yeah, but it was sad it at the same time. it should be entertaining. That's the part. Yeah. You feel me? And matter of fact, I'm like, shit, I'm going to play a little clip from that shit, you yeah. know? Like, I don't know if y'all familiar with it, but check it you out. You keep on saying it. You said that every fucking day. day. You fucking crazy, nigga. Nigga, where your grades at? Where your grades at? You got straight fucking L's for D's, nigga. I got straight L's. That's what them niggas sound like. Straight D's and L's. Listen to it. Put my fucking bite no more, dude. What you say? What you say? Don't know me, son. That's Trump right there, man. Trump out there bullying Joe ass. What you? Nigga, pussy, man. He bagging up. Real talk. Say no real nigga. I'm a fucking grown man. You are? I'm going for the man. You don't smoke, though? I don't what? You don't smoke. <laughs> you don't I don't what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's funny, man. How many times your day was doing? I don't cry, nigga. I don't. How the fuck? What you doing? Yeah, yeah, but y'all get the point. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's what they debate, sound like. Man. That's Two a debate. Two motherfucking grown-ass little kids <laughs> out there arguing and shit. About you know what I'm saying? Man. Not a motherfucking thing. Like, I don't even know what the fuck they talking about. I don't really feel like they proved no point nowhere to me, they bro. They definitely didn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers just out there just yeah, throwing jabs at one another. You name know what calling. Saying? Literally name calling. Yeah, name calling. You, call you know what I'm saying? Did that nigga Trump start talking shit about that nigga's son? <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't man. talk about my son. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? It's sad, like, bro, man. You know, shit, y'all ain't got no, nobody else in the back, man. man. Shit, because like this these, can't be the only two. Yeah, and these niggas we supposed to be voting for, you know Crazy, what I'm saying? Man. I don't feel too good about neither side, you know me what I'm saying? Man. I guess you got to vote for the lesser of evils, you feel me? But shit, ain't nobody convinced me to to, to, to get my vote. Right, know? for real. Then, I, like, that nigga Joe come out there, you know, that nigga... 
he he mumbling and fumbling through his words and shit. Stop you know, him. like motherfucker, you know, letting Trump steady cutting him off and shit. You know what I'm saying? I didn't feel like Kamala Harris when they did all that. Yeah, that's like, the right person. Know? Like shit, you know, he ain't really looked that strong to me. You yeah, feel that's me? I agree, like, bro. you know, I agree. like you know, especially when he came out and you know he fumbling through the words and everything. It's just like you know, I could tell like you kind of trying to remember that shit or yeah. whatever the case is. But you want to kind of speaking off what yeah. you feeling. You feel me? Yeah, but you know he ain't really look like too strong of a leader out there. there. You know, Trump don't get no fuck. He just yeah, he gonna talk his shit. A fucking you know? bully, man. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? And then I know at one point they brought up like, you know, do you support white white supremacy? You know what I'm saying? And yeah. you know, motherfucker, mm-hmm. like, give me a name, give me a name. <laughs> it's like, nigga, and, you know the name, right? That <laughs> Joe, that's your chance to the speaker, the KKK. Let's see what he got to say about that. Yeah. yeah, you know, like exactly, you know. But you know, motherfucker, talking about the Proud Boys, who the fuck they oh, is, no, and all no, that I ain't shit. Never heard of. It's just like stand back and stand by, and that's right. what the nigga said. Stand and back orders, and stand man. by. What the fuck that mean? <laughs> like, seriously. You ready? You know, like Get ready. what that mean? Like, you know, and then it, it's just like, you know, I didn't feel like if I was Joe, you know what I'm saying? If I was Joe Biden, like, I would have said to him, like, shit, so you, you fuck with the KKK? Exactly. That was How you case. feel about that? You right. know what I'm saying? It, it's just like, you know, I didn't feel like, shit, neither one of them was on that shit. Neither one of them exactly. addressed that shit, you know? Like, they, they kind of dropped the ball on that one. Yeah, they both did. Um, They didn't, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Acknowledge, you know what I'm saying? Terrorist groups, bro. You feel yeah. me? You know they know both didn't, didn't want to speak on it at all, especially um, Trump. You feel yeah, me? You know. So you know when it when it come out to doing all that voting shit and everything, man. Y'all y'all just you know vote for the lesser of two evils, pretty man, much. And that's fucked up. Ain't man. really nothing you can say it's about that because at the man. end of the day, it ain't gonna change shit. And as long as you living your life and you trying to get you know certain things accomplished, continue doing that. You know. Right, so it right. is what it is. But you know what, bro? About voting for the lesser two evils, though. I mean that shit impacts. Our life moving forward in our kids, grandkids, all that shit, man. Yeah. What they doing right now, office, man. Right. And it's looking real bad that we not really strong on somebody. And motherfuckers that voted for Trump, <laughs> <laughs> man. What's the message you're behind that? You know what I'm saying? That man. nigga's an asshole, man. And he's a Gemini, too. Like, so I know he oh, don't man. give a fuck. <laughs> like, I know he don't give a fuck. But then, yeah, so. like, right after that shit, that nigga turned around and got COVID. COVID you know what man. I'm saying? Like, you know, and you know, like shit. I guess you know that's where all the conspiracies yeah, come in too. Yeah, they You come. know, you know it's coming like, though. Yeah, for real, like shit. Because it's either like you know he really got COVID and he chilling and he right. gonna do whatever, or you know maybe it's something a little bit more behind that. You know, like shit. I was on Instagram a little early or whatever, and mm-hmm. like I seen a motherfucker, you know, uh, tweet something from back like what last month or sometime, and it was like Trump's October surprise would be the announcement. Of his infection, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, shit. and then it had the word fake after that, you know, comma, but quite dramatic, you know what I'm saying? And the twist would blow by and off the screens. The Trump COVID watch dominating every minute of every day. Then 14 days later, Trump will emerge 100% cured by, uh, you know, hydro clock, whatever the fuck that shit is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hydrochlorazone or whatever the fuck it is. Hi- hydro, hi- whatever. Hydrochloroquine or whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter. Y'all know what the fuck it is. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? Saying all that, it's just like, man, you know, like shit. So, can you believe it? Like, is a motherfucker pushing the agenda there? You know? You talking about pushing the agenda of the vaccines? Mm-hmm. I think so, shit. I think they is, though. Because, shit, I feel like they want everybody to be vaccinated. Right. Yeah. I don't agree with it though. I mean, me personally, I mean, I ain't, I'm a conspiracy theorist. I, but I I just question a lot of shit. You feel me? Yeah. So I don't really believe the the vaccine and shit, man. Because yeah. there's a lot of countries that's around the world that been cured from COVID that didn't have vaccines. Mm-hmm. Why we need that shit? Yeah. I mean, but you know, motherfuckers is out here spending money on that shit. So yep. you got to follow pharmaceuticals. The money. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's an agenda, whether you believe it's propaganda or whatever the fuck else the case is, man. But, you know, I I know I ain't trying to fuck with no vaccines. I don't know about how some of y'all feeling out there or whatever the case is, but I know me personally, like, I ain't trying to take no vaccine as soon as that shit come out. Yeah. You know? Like, shit, if I'm not mistaken, they were saying at first it take, like, a year and a half to, you know, down there two years to even come out with a proper vaccine after you go through all the trials and the experiments. So, basically, we're guinea pigs. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? Pretty much. And I I feel like I think the people who going to have to take that shit at first would be like the healthcare workers. Okay. You know? That's like fucked shit, up. You know? So, like, man, you know, I, I wish y'all well out here. I don't know how y'all yep, feel stay about safe, that. Man. But I know me personally, I ain't really trying to jump the gun and take no vaccine as soon as that shit come out. Yeah. And then that remind me of like Bill Gates, you know what I'm saying? Just thinking about that, how he forcing the uh, vaccine agenda, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, how the fuck this nigga pushing the agenda for some vaccines and this nigga a goddamn computer nerd? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like he, when the fuck did he get a medical degree? Or, you know, who he fucking with? Up, you know, man. they got this shit going and, on. And like, speaking on that, man, you know, he putting up $250 million to make the vaccine $20 for everybody, affordable. Who won a twenty dollar vaccine? Yeah, I mean, you know, I damn near feel like all healthcare should be a given to a certain degree, anyway. Exactly. You know, you know, even if you got certain little stipulations on that or something, you know, but you know, that shit should damn near be a given. Right. You know, so you know, it is what it is, man. But I ain't fucking with it, you know. Yeah, okay. Like I ain't fucking with it, you know. And they just talking about vaccines in general. You know, it's always saying like vaccines is bad to begin with. But you know, me personally, like I'm not Dr. Sebi. Yeah. You know, like shit. You I don't know, know everything. <laughs> you know, you I don't, don't know, know everything. everything. You know, you know like, but shit, I feel like you know, Western medicine and maybe holistic medicine. That shit could kind of go hand in hand, but. You know, y'all got to remember, man, there's an agenda out here being pushed on people, you know, and you got to follow that money trail. So, you know, wherever the money at, that's pretty much what the agenda going to be. So, you know, y'all just do whatever it is y'all going to do with that. Pharmaceuticals make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Make a lot of money every year. You know what I'm saying? Think about them OIPOs and everything, you know? Like, shit, they getting paid off all that shit, you know? So, you know, it is what it is, but. Like, shit, nigga, what's been going on, though, man? You been fucking with them playoffs and yeah, shit, Yeah, man. man, these yeah. finals, man. Shit, it ain't look like no finals, though, bro. Yeah, yeah. It like, ain't looking like no finals. Yeah, yeah, like, I just want to jump subjects because, like, I don't want to be stuck on that shit all day. I don't want to talk about that shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but as far as, like, these playoffs going like shit, I know, you know, not too long ago, your ass was sitting up here talking about it was going to uh, be the Lakers and the Celtics. I had, shit, I had one, know? bro. I had Lakers and Boston. He had Clippers in the Heat. Yeah. Shit, we won one, man. Won one. But shit, it ain't looking good for, for Miami. Him. It hit all, man. Shit, and we record right now. We recording on a Sunday, so, you know, I think the game going on game right three. now. Game three tonight. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit. 3 you know, Like, I would love to see Miami get one in at least. How? I Project out and bam. So, yeah. it's, it's out. You know, bro, it's, it's looking like with. a rap, man. But, you know, I know Miami got a pretty good system over there, they you know. They do. Like, I feel like everybody over there some dogs. So, you know, I want to at least get them boys one. Right, yeah, you want to give them some respect. Yeah. That's what you give them. You know what I'm saying? Give them a little bit of respect, but I don't know what this shit looking like. But, you know, me personally, I don't feel like, you know, the overall goal was to win a championship for Miami this year anyway. So, I mean, you know, nobody just seen them give them this far, bro. Yeah, just don't making it to the finals, you know, that's good enough right there. Right. You know, even though personally I would have liked to see, because uh, I think the real finals would have been the Clippers and the Lakers. That's yeah, what everybody was looking man. for. But your, like, your, your guy dropped the ball, man. Yeah. Choke. Yeah. And your boys dropped the ball, hey, too. we like, here. You talking about we the Celtics. Here. I said the Lakers, right? Yeah, yeah, but you was talking about the Celtics. I was. was gonna go they young, everywhere. though. They like, young. You know, they like, young. So what happened with that? Like, so shit. We, you know, like young. I said, we won and won when it come to that. Yeah, you know? right, So we can't really talk shit. We won and won. <laughs> <laughs> we won and won. Yeah, yeah like shit, yo Celtics, they dropped that ball, man, you know, but they yeah. also a young squad, you know what I'm saying? Up like, and coming. Yeah, you know, they a young squad, you know, got young coaching and everything, so, you know, like Miami, you know, they the better team won that shit, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, they won no no Clippers and Denver shit. I, I I still don't understand that, that shit kind of hurt But right you know there. what, I just think, bro, if it were, if they won in a bubble, this playoff would have played a lot. Played out a lot different. You feel me? Yeah. Inside this bubble. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then it's funny about the bubble because it seemed like a m- lot of motherfuckers feeling like, you know, this season pretty much just a wash. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, like it is what it is. It don't really dog. count. Yeah, yeah, with the asterisk and shit. Yep. Yep. You know, like this shit kind of crazy, but you know, like it did. Like you got like Doc Rivers. He not a, he not with the Clippers no more because your boys got him fired. You know, like he not with the Clippers. Mike yeah. D'Antoni got up out of there. But you know what? Doc got a job though. Was he he in Philly now? Yeah, he Philly, Philly. like that'll probably be a decent fit for him, yeah. you know. All right, shit. See what uh, they gonna do with that team, though, man? I yeah. think that that changed the direction. If you're gonna adopt, All right, so. you know. And I see Stephen A. Smith, like, that nigga was yeah. talking about, like he felt like Doc shouldn't have got fired, you know uh, what I'm saying? I, I, because I, I like it was a bubble season, and how the Clippers they was one of the teams who ain't want to participate within the bubble. 
So, uh, you know, it's just one of them things like, man, y'all go back to square one and y'all go ahead and try it again for the next season. But, yeah. you know, the way I look at it, it's just like, man, everybody had to show up, you know what I'm saying, to exactly. come out and play. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Like, so yeah, it's just like, but, man, I don't give a fuck if it's the bubble or not because everybody still had to go out there and play. They had to play through COVID. They got to play from being away from their family mm-hmm. and shit. So, you know, everybody had to be ready and prepared because, like, shit. Mentally. Yeah, it really ain't no excuses for that. It wasn't, know? but I just feel like they found out because somebody had to pay for that shit. Yeah. You can't, you can't trade the style. You know what I'm saying? Just up and trade the stars, man. Y'all gave up too much, and somebody had to pay, man. Unfortunately, it was Doc. You know what I'm saying? But he got a job a few days later. He wasn't tripping. Yeah. He wasn't tripping. They know it wasn't his fault. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad he got, they gave him that job over Dad Tony. Because, yeah. like, yeah, don't, Dad Tony need to be sent down for a little while or something. He don't okay. need no job so far. Yeah, 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 man. You know? He don't need it. And he don't right. need it. Yeah. And yeah, like I said, Miami's still young. So, them making them to the finals, that's what's up, man. You know, them motherfuckers went out there and they hooped. They did their thing. You know, but mm-hmm. they did. They need a big out there. I don't think they could rely on Bam. You know oh, what I'm saying? Man, At that little no. center spot, like no, they can't rely some, on them. To need some more bodies, man. Yeah. Need some more bodies. You know, like shit. Yeah, you know, me personally, I feel like you know Andrew Drummond. You know, he might be a good fit. Yeah, Drummond. Yeah, you know if they can find him a rebounder. Rebounder. Yeah, you know he gonna rebound. You know he mm-hmm. can get you twenty mm-hmm. and ten every motherfucking game. I ain't see that. You know now. You know he may not be able to get up and down the floor. You know like oh. a lot of these teams is yep, playing yep. nowadays. But he a big body. Like shit, Miami need a couple bigs. Cause who else they got? They got Bam, Kelly Olynyk. You know, um, shit, really, that's about it. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm man. Saying? While we while we on basketball too, man, we want to shout out, man, one of one of the Chicago legends, man. Happy you beat a D Rose, bro? Yeah, D Rose, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout him out, man. One of the greatest, bro, from the shot. You feel me? Yes, sir. Most you know definitely. what I'm saying? Like shit, top five fuck point guard him. in my opinion. Fucking with him. Fuck with him. You hear me? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. You hear me? Yeah. You know, so shout out D Rose, man. Happy birthday, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit. Yeah, I was just at a party yesterday. Had the D Rose jersey. You know what I'm saying? D Rose, man. He rappers, bro. We in the shop. You know, had the D Rose jersey. It was a little 90s party and shit. You know what I'm saying? My girl's sister birthday, man. So, you know, happy birthday, Jazz. When motherfuckers had a good time yesterday kicking and shit. Tell him, man. That's good, bro. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And motherfucking DJ, you know what I'm saying? That nigga was turning up, man. That nigga was playing a lot of shit last night. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga. Yeah, you know, time, yeah, you know. Paul got a hit, good time. He ain't got his shades <laughs> on. Back, you, hear me? you know, like shit, this shit crazy. Yeah. Cause like I be thinking about the DJ. Like man, like I, I really think like motherfuckers don't really value a DJ yeah. as much. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like that motherfucker is in control. Of the whole motherfucking yeah, party. the vibe, like, bro. The vibe, yeah, the energy in that yeah. bed. Like, you go to a party, man, and motherfuckers playing some bullshit-ass music. I don't give a fuck what's going on. You is not going to have a good time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The motherfuckers yep. playing bullshit. So, you know, like, and I'm that mad energy. I don't remember that nigga name. But, you know, like, that nigga was decent, man. You know, so nigga, shout him out. He'll yeah. get it. He'll get it. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, like, respect them DJs out here, man. The motherfuckers be putting in that work, you know? All right. Yeah, speaking of parties, bro, I mean, we in it, like you said, Tell some people in the shot, man, with some good strip clubs, man, to go to. Some motherfuckers good strip looking clubs. for yeah, <laughs> motherfuckers I be looking to see some ass or something. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Motherfuckers know. Like shit, motherfucking like you know the trap, like shit. That shit was decent. I used to fuck with nah, that I, motherfucking. You know what I'm saying? Know, know. That's Red Diamond. You know what I'm saying? Red Diamond, decent. You know that you got like motherfucking Arnie's over there in Harvey and shit. But right. I think that shit boogie boogie nights now. Boogie nights, so I ride. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, <laughs> yeah, they nice. had a little KOD and shit yeah, out there okay. too. You know what I'm saying? Like shit. This just for the motherfuckers that's looking. You feel me, one? Find a little party spot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know? My boy know. I don't know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit. You know, like, the motherfucking strip clubs, they be decent. You know, I don't really too much fuck with them because, you know, I, I be a little extra sometimes. Motherfucker. <laughs> 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 this ain't be extra. Motherfucker. <laughs> 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 I'll be you know? I'm bro, on the spot, man. <laughs> man, I'll be a little extra sometimes, man. You know, yeah. and I feel like, shit, you in the strip club, man, yeah, it should be a little stripper etiquette and shit yeah. like that, but... You know, like me, like shit, man. God <laughs> damn, like shit. You gonna shake your ass in my face, and I'm trying to put that dollar wherever the fuck it gonna fit <laughs> he at. Said whatever, <laughs> wherever the fuck that motherfucker gonna fit at. That's why I'm trying to put it at. 
as long as you allow me to do that, you know oh, what I'm saying? Because, like, shit, I'm trying to, you know, be a little nasty in that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm there for. Yeah, you in a club, you know, I ain't boy, in that boy. motherfucker trying to be quiet, boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, I'm trying to have a good time. You know what I'm saying? And if I'm there with a lady, like, I'm on her to have a good time, too. Right, turn yeah, up. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Up. Have fun. Okay, okay, so, right. you know, shout out all the strippers out there. Shout out yeah, the shout dancers, out the man. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, for real, you know? Like shit, but yeah, like I said, I don't really too much fuck around, but when I do, I have okay. a good time, man. You know, That's what like that shit, shit. About, bro. You know, especially like if you in Atlanta or something, I'd have been to Onyx and you All know right. shit like that. Like, yeah, man, I'll be fucking that with that shit. That shit a different feel than being uh, in the club here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I feel like it's a it's a it's a slight vibe, you know right. what I'm saying? But like, shit, you know, man, like you going these motherfucking clubs, nigga, you spending the thirty for the parking, you spending <laughs> whatever to get in the dope, like shit. Then you going in here spending on the bitch, and it's just like, God damn, you know, like get you shit. A bottle, man. Well, shit, yeah, yeah, get you bread, a bottle, man. get you a little spot, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And you all good, for man. Sure, and I'm sure. chilling. I like to be low key, you know what I'm saying? Like I ain't really no. Nigga that like to be out here, you know, flexing and shit like that. I like to be Ooh, low key. I like to sit in the cut. You know what I'm saying? I like to peep the scene. I just like good vibes. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, and they ain't even know no strip club shit. It's just in general. That's right. just me, period. Yeah. You know? Like, shit. You know, I could be loud when I want to be loud. You know what I'm saying? But I'm quiet. You know what I'm saying? I don't even really fuck with motherfuckers like that. You know, especially when you know. It's just like, I got to. You know, I gotta, I gotta chill, see who I'm dealing with. You know right. what I'm saying? And shit. Yeah. But shit, we seven episodes in, so I kind of feel like people didn't got a, got a feel of who you is, bro. You yeah. feel me? Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? Shit, yeah, thanks y'all yeah. for checking out, checking us out. Shit. Hell yeah! And like shit, while we talking about that shit, like let me tell you why I fuck with this nigga right here, this nigga Joe. Like shit, what I don't know you for about what, about what, six years about or something? Six years, yep. On phone, you know. Yep, yep, and six. it's just like he yeah, he a few years younger than me, you know what I'm saying? But like ever yeah, since I met this nigga, he been on his business, you know what I'm saying? Like you know this nigga always been taking care of his family, you know what I'm saying? Like he ain't, I ain't never seen got him to. out here on no goofy shit. He got good head on his shoulders. And, you know, part of the reason why he even here on the pod is because, like, this nigga bring a different perspective that I don't have. You feel me? Vice versa, man. You know, like, you know, like I said, you know, we going to get a little deeper with certain things here and there. Because, like I said, man, this nigga be knowing about all the little foreign affairs. You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you like, got to keep educated, man. Stay educated, yeah. bro. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes motherfucker, you know, made me look at shit a little different. And then, you oh, know, man. I just love the relationship that he has with his family, man. This nigga. As a provider, you know he love his daughter. You can't say shit bad about his daughter. He love his baby. Appreciate you know that love, saying? bro. You know, okay. like he a father. Like you know, he went down here on no fuck nigga shit. So you know, that, that's why I fuck with this bro right here. You know what I'm saying? It's just one of them deals. You know. Now as far as like I'm concerned, like shit, like I said, man, I'm just a laid back nigga. I don't laid be running back, off bro. at my mouth, man. Oh, uh, you know bro, but you, you know what I'm saying? Just the balance, bro. That's why we doing this podcast, man. You feel me? That's why that shit works so well. Cause I mean, it's the balance. He bring a different perspective. You feel me? He make me look at shit different. You know what I'm saying? Make yeah. me hear him out. You feel me? I don't know everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes it's good to just listen. Yeah. You feel me? Especially to a motherfucker that know what they be talking about, man. Right. And then a lot of motherfuckers be asking like, "What this podcast about?" Yeah, they do. I noticed that a lot too. And I'm finna be real with y'all now. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this shit about. It's about that? shit. That's what it's we about. Just, we feel you know me? We just here like, relating to y'all, man. Relating, you feel me? Yeah. Peonated, you feel me? Yeah. That's all, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we be on this bitch talking about politics and, you know, sports, whatever. Sports, you know what I'm saying? Just life shit, hoes, like whatever. Like work yeah. shit, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Living your dreams and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? This podcast is just about whatever the fuck you want it to be about, you know what I'm saying? And I know I didn't, you know, got a little feedback, you know what I'm saying, a little criticism here and there about, you know, how I oh, refer dude. to the women out here, call them bitches and hoes, but we love women. We ain't talking to the women. We talking to the bitches <laughs> and the hoes. Well, to know who they are, man. You know, like, that's just general shit, you know? Right. Like, you know, like, it, it is what it is. Like, if you ain't fucking with it, go, go listen to T.D. Yeah, Jakes or something. You know it's what I'm saying? saying? It ain't for everybody. It ain't yeah. for everybody. You feel me? Uh, yeah. That's why we talking to the hated ones. You feel yeah. me? The you ones that speak the real that people hate, you know? Yeah. For sure. You know what I'm saying? It's called opinion hating, man. Exactly. You know, this podcast is exactly. just for 
You know, whoever want to come through and listen with it. You know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, let me shout out all the niggas out there that thought about leaving their bitch three times this week. <laughs> <laughs> like, shit, oh, you done man. thought about leaving this bitch it, at least three times yeah. this week. Like, shit, you know what I'm saying? Bitch, like, this, this, this shit man. for you. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Man. I know how that shit goes sometimes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't want to oh, leave man. mine, but shit, I know yeah. how it be sometimes. Like, I leave this bitch right now. <laughs> she can have all this shit. Oh, man. Shit, that's just how you, that's how you <laughs> feel like that. Man, hey, just leave me my two <laughs> uniforms. I'm straight. Oh, like man. I don't, yeah, and I'm out this motherfucker. You feel What's me, up, bro? What's like up? it's who this shit for. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, and even the ladies out there, like shit. You know, you done thought about it, but nah, man, fuck that. Like this for <laughs> these niggas who thought about leaving eight bitch three times this three week, times this week. <laughs> <laughs> at the bare minimum. What's you know up, what I'm saying? Man. Like shit, shorty been on your back, all that <laughs> shit. Like and you ain't got time for right. it. You know, like that. That's what that's for. You know, yeah, man. And like shit, matter of fact, like, well, this ain't got shit to do with nothing, man. I was riding over to this motherfucker playing that uh Twenty One Savages shit, oh, man. Yeah. That new and, shit. Like, Check them out. Man, for real. Like shit, if you know me, like shit, I, I fuck with that Twenty One. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, you see real was shit, bro. About them, them apartments and shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And like, you know, he got a decent album. He got Morgan Freeman there right now, motherfucker. Like, yeah. goddamn, what's the budget on Morgan Freeman? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Oh, got man. Morgan Freeman there rating. You know what I'm saying? Him and Metro booming. You know what I'm saying? Got the beats on that motherfucker. That, All that yeah. shit was decent. You know, top to bottom. Like that rolling and that motherfucking, uh, that shit with uh, Young Thug, that rich nigga yeah. shit. Like, yeah, I'm fucking with that right yeah. there. You know what I'm saying? For man. sure. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So shout out that nigga. Shout you out know? 21. Yeah, you know, I've been waiting on that with that Savage Mode too. And uh, matter of fact, I know I seen that nigga on that motherfucking uh, Big Facts podcast. You know, and like that nigga dropped a little, little, little gem on you. Some of you niggas out here, you know, I'm gonna play a little bit of that shit. You know, so I'm gonna keep that up. Like, on how to get some real paper though. Invest that shit. Nah, I ain't talking about. I'm saying like a nigga is zero. What shit he do? A nigga is zero. Like, I ain't got nothing but my dick and my gun. Go get a job, nigga. Mm. Don't be too gangster to be goddamn feed your family. Facts. Word. Niggas got down be it's, it's, it's just like it's a it's a thin line between being a fuck nigga and a player. It's a it's a thin line between a, a gangster and an idiot. Don't be no idiot. Mm -hmm. You ain't got no money. Yeah. You ain't got no hope. No way to do nothing. Go fill out a fucking application <laughs> and go to <laughs> job and shit, work, though. bro. Yeah, you can still smoke is... weed when you get out. <laughs> yeah. I right. work. You right. can right. hang right. on the block with your gun or whatever. Yeah. 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 Go get yeah. you a job, bro. Get out the clock. And feed yeah. your family, bro. Straight up. Real. Don't yeah. be too gangster to where you a star. <laughs> gangsters ain't trying to starve, bro. Hell yeah. yeah. no. Nah. Gangsters trying to eat and yeah. feed the kids and mom and mama and them. Mm. For real, don't be no idiot. A lot of these. Yeah, yeah, we don't cut that off. But you know, like. You know, uh, that nigga, you know, I fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? That nigga like, shit, what you gonna do? You gonna sit out here and starve, nigga? Nah, fuck that oh. shit. Go get you a job. Fucking job, man. That's what all you these things, like you said, ain't shit gonna change. You still gonna get off work, smoke your weed, man. You still hang with your gun if you want to, man. Shit, just go to work, bro. Yeah. Ain't you no know sense of being outside with your gun on starving. Fuck you gonna yeah. do, eat your gun? It's like what we was talking about, you know, the week before last, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas, you know, want to be shitting on an everyday working man. Exactly. But somebody got to do this shit. Somebody got to do that you job, know? bro. And I know I also be on here talking about, you know, if you got dreams and shit, you know what I'm saying? Go on ahead and follow them dreams. You know yep. what I'm saying? Do you put, you know, put your plan in motion and go out here and do whatever it is you got to do. But at the same time, everybody can't be a boss. No, oh, man. A lot of you Find niggas, that lane. shit ain't made for you. Find you know what I'm saying? Lane. Like that, you know, like you know, somebody got to do these little uh, these jobs. You know what I'm saying? Somebody got to be the mail man. You know what I'm saying? Some? Somebody got to be the Burger King man. Somebody, bro. You know it's what I'm saying? Job, bro. Yeah, you got to do that shit. You know what I'm saying? So like, don't ever feel like you too good to do some shit. Cause I know exactly, if I was bro. fucked up. I do whatever shit. Well, hey, job, bro. Hey. Shit, it's a job. A job yeah. is a job, bro. Shit. Whatever man. I got to do to provide and feed myself and feed my family. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because then I got to ask, like, what, what you out here living for? Is you living for your family or is you living for, you know, whatever, the clout or something like that, some popularity or what niggas going to say? Like, you, you, so you mean to tell me some of you niggas out here be like, man, I ain't finna go work at Family Dollar because you worried about a motherfucker seeing you, you work at Family in, Dollar? In your uniform, bro. Look, we want to speak to all these, these men out here, bro. Look, there's no reason why you should not make money out here it's ways bro 
Yeah. It's ways, you feel me? Yeah. Do something, man, for your family, man, your kids, for your damn self. Exactly. You hear me? Yeah, and I get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like I said, man, you know, you might feel like, you know, these guys ain't paying you shit, but like, nigga, if you ain't got shit, <laughs> come on, man. Right. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps, yeah, get to bro. it. You know what I'm saying? Because that, you know, whatever the fuck that, sh- that little check going to be, you know what I'm saying? That's better than what you was getting. Exactly. It's something, bro. Yeah. So, it's you something. know, like, you want to smoke weed? Like, shit, nigga, get happy before you go to work. Man, G. Don't shit. let it stop nothing, man. Yeah, don't let yeah. it stop. That's all we saying. We here speaking that shit to you motherfuckers. Let y'all know, bro. Shit don't stop. Still, we want you to do something with your life, man. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. yeah. And shout out to all them niggas that's getting high on their lunch break. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Go back Still into the gig, running. motherfuckers. <laughs> like, damn, somebody reeking in yeah. motherfucker. Like, <laughs> and that you like, me. yeah, that's me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know like, you know, you know, know what it is, man. Well, like, ain't shit, shit don't wrong stop, with that. Man. Cause shit like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you getting up and going to work, like, shit. Guess what? Guess who at work? It's bitches at work. Whatever, man. It's hoes at work. You know what I'm saying? You gonna meet women. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, you gonna make you some money going ahead. Like, it feel good it when you feel get that good, check. man. You know, you got you a family going ahead and provide for that. Exactly, like, because I don't give a fuck where niggas see me working at. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I know I feel good about bringing home some money to my family. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Like, I feel, it feel good paying bills. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, it feel good provide. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the nigga Pac say, I love paying rent when the rent. You know what I'm saying? Well, fuck you say. Yeah. Like, shit. You know what I'm saying? Mama. I don't even remember. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to his mama. You know what I'm saying? Put some money in the mailbox well, and all that is, shit. That's how it is, bro. You know what I'm saying? We men, though. You feel me? Yeah. Well, that's all. That's all. We we, we want, we speaking to the man because we want these, these black women. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? We want them to have good men out here. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Somebody to look, look for the, the protection. You feel me? Just to provide. You know, I feel like our women need that, bro. I feel uh-huh. like our women need that. I mean, shit, you know, it ain't even about just all about the women. It's just what about you, you niggas is? doing shit for yourselves, man. Yeah, but I'm Providing just saying that, bro, I'm, because y'all just see so many single parents, man, black single mothers and shit like that, you feel me? Or kids that just ain't around, bro. You feel me? The kids that just ain't around, they parents, G. You know what I'm saying? So I'm speaking to them, man. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. That shit helps. Yeah. You know, I, I feel like you ain't, man, like I said, man, you know, being a man, you just got to get up and provide some right. type of way, some exactly. form of fashion. Exactly. Don't matter what you do. Like, you know, like, yeah, me personally, I feel like shit, you know, shouldn't nobody be out here selling no little nick and dime bags and shit like that it or, you know, like all that shit. It's just like, man, at some point in time, like whatever you doing, you got to realize like, shit, you know, it's another level to the shit that you doing, man. You know what I'm saying? There ain't nothing wrong with what you're doing, but, like, what's the plan? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? When when you going to step your shit up? When you going to move to the next level? You know That's what I'm saying? Else. Like, for real, you know? Because sometimes a lot of this shit y'all niggas out here doing, y'all just be better off getting a motherfucking job. Like, straight <laughs> up. You know what I'm saying? Like, Especially rapping. You know? Like, yeah, like, even if you a rapping, like, because I know a lot of niggas, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> who been rapping since high school and shit like that. Like, it ain't nothing wrong because it ain't never too old to get no money. We ain't, we ain't shooting that down. Yeah. You know you know ain't never too saying? old to chase your dreams, bro. Yeah, you got to do what you got to do. But if it I, ain't bringing you no money, do something else. Yeah, figure something else out. Rebrand. It don't mean you a failure, you uh-huh. know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. It just mean like, you know, like if you've been rapping for 20 years, you know, you starting to get up in age, you hitting your late 30s, you know what I'm saying? You tiptoeing into 40 and shit like that. I and it's just you. like, you know, maybe rapping ain't for you right now, but you might have some nephews that rap. Yeah. You might have a son yeah. that rap. Use them connections. A cousin or something, yeah. you know, maybe being a manager would be your thing, right. you know what exactly. I'm saying? Or... You know, especially, like, if you've been around and you've been out here, you know, and you've been dealing with people so you know a little bit about the ins and outs of what's going on within certain industries, you know, you can apply that shit to a different way. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't got to have the motherfucking blinders on and you just motherfucking, you know, got tunnel vision out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can you can broaden that vision and expand it to something else. You know what I'm saying? So... It's just like, you know, if what you thought about doing ain't working for you, you know, maybe it's time to start about, maybe it's time to start thinking about something else. You feel me? Yep. Find another lane, man, or something. You, you know? know? Like, yeah, for real. You sometimes know what I'm saying? Sometimes shit take a little bit more time, but damn, yeah. though, 20 years, though, sometimes shit just got to let it go, man. It take time. You know what I'm saying? You got to put that work in. Don't sure, nothing bro. really happen overnight. But you got to see the progress, minutes. though, too, though. You yeah. Mean? That's the point, yeah. though. You know, like shit, you know, you might be a good ass rapper, you might be a good ass writer, maybe, you know, maybe be a ghost writer. Mm. 
write for somebody. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I got the flow. Shit. Yeah, write for one of these females out here. Write for one of these <laughs> niggas or something, you know? Like, you know, there's always another way. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you just figure it out and, and move forward. You know, maybe write a book or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you do Ooh, any man. motherfucking do thing anything, out here. Bro. You know? Like, shit. So, you know, all that being said, because, like, you got niggas like Tyler Perry. Like, he became a billionaire not too long ago. Yeah. You know? Like, he started late, too. Mm-hmm. Started late. Like, he was homeless and everything. You know what I'm saying? And, like, you know, that man a billionaire. You know what I'm saying? Same and thing about our man. Yeah. Like, motherfuckers talk shit about Tyler and all that shit, too. You know, talking about him being Medea, wearing them dresses and shit. But that nigga got paid, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He did Tyler his Perry thing. Studio, you know what I'm saying? Too. Opened up the motherfucking studios, man. put that shit in man. Atlanta somewhere. That just shows you, too. bro. You know that hard work pay off, bro. That's all. Yeah, got his own studio. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Motherfuckers out here, you know, been, you know, begging motherfuckers to give them shit and doing certain things. And that brother built his own shit. His own, bro. Own. Built and, his own shit. And giving back to other people, helping them, putting them on. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. You know, like I said, man, you know, so, you know, whatever it is that you want to do in life, be dedicated to that shit. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, be realistic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Be realistic. That's the big point. You know? Like shit. Realistic. You know? Yeah, for real. Be realistic out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Everything ain't for everybody. It ain't. You know? And ain't. and while we talking about that, stop looking at other motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever motherfucker living like, you know, that don't mean that's what your life's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? It's okay with just, you know what I'm saying, living your life. You know what I'm saying? Like even Being if you. your life is just you. you know, you got you a career, your bills paid. You know, everything taken care of, and you got a few dollars. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got a couple thousand you could do whatever with. You take your kids on a vacation, whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's fine, too. Like, everybody ain't got to live the fantasy of reality. Yeah, man. Everybody Stay within your means. That. That's all, bro. Son. Stay within your means, man. Oh, shit. Like, that's a whole nother motherfucking topic. <laughs> like, staying within your means. Stop chasing yeah, the motherfucking Joneses yeah. and shit like that. Man, just do what make you happy, hey, man. Shit. You know, like I said, you know, that's why I be like that internet shit be dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Because, Bring like, you'll see motherfuckers out here doing that shit, then you get sad because you feel like your life ain't going the way it's mm-hmm. supposed to be going. Mm-hmm. But, like, be appreciative of what the fuck it is that you got. And if you feel like you want more, then do something for it. Because like, I feel like a lot of people just be want more, just but they don't back. be doing more to get them more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, shit, nigga, what you going to do then? Mm-hmm. You got to do something to it, bro. Got to be action behind them words, man. Yeah. Action behind them words. Yeah. You feel me? Like, what the fuck you going to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, you want, you want to sit up here and talk about what it is that you want to do and what you don't want to do and all this and that, but at the same time, what the fuck you going to do? Shit. You know what I'm saying? What you going to do to turn your life up? You know what I'm saying? Like, you want you a bad shorty? Like, you don't talk to no bad shorties? You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, you want you some money, you don't do nothing to get you no money? You know what I'm saying? You want you whatever the fuck it is that you want, but you ain't doing nothing to build towards that. Exactly. You just you just talking about it, bro. Basically, yeah. you just talking about it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, if that's what you want, then that's what you got to do. You got to put that time in. You know, like right. motherfuckers been saying this shit in and in and out mm-hmm. for however many motherfucking episodes. It's just like, nigga, if you want to do something, get up off your ass, get do up, it. get out, and go do, do something. You know what I'm saying? Because other than that, then you might as well just get comfortable with the way you living because that's what you're gonna be at and be appreciative of the shit that you have. Exactly, man. You know, every day, be appreciative every of day. that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like that. That's that's the only thing I can say when it comes to that. You know, but <laughs> shit, nigga. Like you know, motherfuckers came in here today, and it was just like you know, it really wasn't too much going on now. It's been a slow you week. You know what though, folks? I, I do got something to say, man. What's something that, that kind of been bothering me mm-hmm. about the uh, Danny, Daniel Cameron. You mm-hmm. feel me, Attorney General, man? I'm still ain't letting that down, man. Because oh, now we shit. got the, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Now we got the trial. You know what I'm saying? Asking to release the trans transcripts. You feel me? hmm And shit, shit just ain't sitting right with me, man. I mean, the way I feel about that shit, you know, we gave Daniel Cameron the bitch ass nigga of the week last yeah, we week. You know? And uh, you know, he's pretty much the reason that Breonna Taylor got the verdict that she received. RP. But uh then the grand jurors or whatever the case was said they wanted them transcripts to be released so you know they could see. And then I think uh, it was to the point that they didn't even have an option where they can indict the other two officers who played a part in her murder, you know? So with all that being said, 
Like we pretty much just gonna let that uh, story to continue to unfold. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Look and out we'll for see that. Where that shit end up at? You know, and hopefully she gets some type of justice or something because, like I said, that's an unjust situation. You know, it should have been at least a manslaughter or something. But like I said, we we just gonna let this continue to unfold yeah, and man. let the facts come out and exactly. things uh, end up where they need to be at. You know, so. But you know what? Shit always come to the light anyways, bro, after a while. You feel me? So that's the only thing, man, that kind of been upsetting me, man, because that's the attorney general. You feel me? He foes to uphill justice. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Make sure justice is, is followed within the state of Kentucky. You know right. what I'm saying? But he lying and shit. He lying yeah. and shit, y'all. Come on now. Yeah. So be on the lookout for that case. Like bro said, shit, shit is still unfolding, and we just want to make sure y'all find out what's going on. That's what we here for. Yeah. You know? Like, they might need Jimmy Butler on the defense. <laughs> 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 nah, I'm just talking shit. But, uh, you know. <laughs> they need Butler on but, defense. Yeah, nah, talking shit, man. But, yeah, hopefully. I don't know why you said him either, though, bro. Nah, man, man, because that's my nigga, boy. Like, that nigga be out but there hooping. But they hooping. down, though. Wait, wait, what hooping is he doing? That yeah, shit, I don't know. <laughs> right, nigga. Man, I don't know, did, uh, like, but shit, you know, like when it uh, like shit. Matter of fact, you know, cause like I know in a minute we gonna get up out of here and right, everything. Right. But shit, you know, like I was gonna go home and watch Pal, my girl. But you know, I pretty much been in the crib all day by myself. I ain't been Dolo. doing shit. Dolo, Dolo. You know what I'm saying? Like nigga been a little tired. I've been out kicking it and shit. But uh, I got a chance time, to check man. out Pal and shit. You know, I caught the last episode, so like once again, we recording on a Sunday, so you Sunday. know that shit come air tonight for y'all who don't have on demand, and it'll be mm-hmm. Wednesday by the time y'all see this show, but right. uh, I watched that shit, man, and like power kind of blowing me, man. What, what you don't like about it, bro? Like, I done caught up with that shit, like it's cool, but you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, first of all, first of all you know what I'm saying, like that nigga Tyreek. That nigga was out here. That nigga got drugged. So that nigga spent like half an episode drugged. And I'm like, ain't nobody yeah, give a fuck about that nigga. Because like shit, I feel like shit, nigga, you you kicking it with your shorty or whatever. You and know what I'm saying? You, you talking to her and she just get up and dip and leave. And she she ain't you. tell your homie. Like shit, your bro and them fucked up. Like shit, your boy yeah. fucked up. Go, you know what I'm saying? Make sure yeah, he man. good. She just get up and dip. You know, Tyree, don't, don't fuck know, with that man. bitch. <laughs> Motherfucker, don't, don't fuck know, with man. that bitch. I be mad as hell my bitch just left me. Drugged up, passed out, yeah. passed the fuck out too, man. Yeah. So I, I, you know what, I fuck with power, but I still miss the old power, man. Ghost Tommy, man, because this shit kind of it's going all over the place. It's like the shit written bad, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Mary J. Yeah. Blige, like she all right, but yeah. you know the acting ain't good. It's just like which one, which one of my kids? That whole I can little trust? family, <laughs> I'm Bobby. Bobby, yeah, Bobby gonna end up Bobby. whacking. He gonna be end up Kane. whacking That's that little mother. Yeah, Kane, Kane man. Like, because that, that, that Bobby Brown. <laughs> Kane <laughs> gonna end up whacking the police officer oh, or something. Man. Shit, motherfucker. Yeah. You know, Mary J, she and that motherfucker trying to teach the daughter how to motherfucking play niggas and <laughs> shit. But she steady getting finessed by Tyreek. <laughs> and Tyreek a nigga from the burbs. Oh, but he a smart nigga. That you know nigga, what I'm saying? Man. He ain't from like the ghost, burbs, man. but he a privileged kid. And that nigga smart as hell. And, like, he kind of playing that family against one another. So, yeah. you know, we going to see how yeah. that shit go, you know? We love power, man, but yeah. uh, we still trying to get in the flow of this new shit, man. I'm still trying to get a flow yeah. of that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, shit, you know, like I said, man, like, I, boy, I'll be mad as hell, man. And with that shit being said, like, when y'all motherfuckers out here and y'all kicking in, y'all partying, man, y'all got to watch ourselves and watch our surroundings. Don't ever let a yeah, motherfucker... Man. Catch you outside your element. You don't know, let what your saying? guards down. You know it's okay to have fun, but you gotta watch yourself, man. Because don't nobody have your back like you. Like you, man. You know what I'm saying? Nobody. Like born alone, die alone type shit out here. You know what I'm saying? It's just like if you drinking this shit, like man, watch where your cup be at. Don't let nobody pour you. your cups up. You know what I'm saying? Don't let, don't, don't let nobody roll your blunts up. You know what I'm saying? Do your mm-hmm. own shit. Like, don't be out here trying to smoke and drink and whatever yeah. the fuck it is that yeah. you're doing with everybody because everybody be on some other shit. Mm-hmm. You don't know what these people be on. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker just got some wicked ass agendas, bro. Yeah, and that's why I'm talking about. That's why that shit with Tyree fucked me up. Then. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, you know, he let a motherfucker get him a cup. Yep. His homie, who he thought he was on, but he ain't dope. Uh, nah, nah, it's a bitch yeah. that put that shit up in there. Yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? And this for the ladies, too. It's just <laughs> like, man, you know, you don't know what motherfuckers be in on. Yeah, that's man. who that's, that's what we talking to. I was talking to the ladies, you feel me? As far as y'all yeah, pick up y'all cups up and see, I don't know. Because niggas be on that. Niggas be on drug and shit. You feel yeah. me? 
Motherfuckers you know be saying? doing drug drugs. Yeah, niggas be drugging yeah. women. You feel me? That's yeah. what I'm talking. I'm talking to the women. Y'all be safe out there. You feel yeah, me? but niggas be getting drugged too, man. Yeah, you know shit. what I'm saying? Like, For shit. They get yeah. robbed, folks. Motherfuckers be, yeah, <laughs> shit. Drug These bitches robbed. will rob you, bro. Like, yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah. See, I ain't fuck with all that. Hey, you know, like, shit. You know, that might be a different subject for a different day, but, yeah. like, shit, you got to be careful. On, cause man. Like, Talk shit, about that. You getting up with a shorty, you go kick it with her. You know what I'm saying? You at her crib. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Especially mm-hmm. if you one of them niggas who, you know, be flexing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got a little bit of bread it. or something. Bitch think you got it. You know what I'm saying? You in the crib getting some head, fucking or something. Then next thing you know, you look up, it's niggas in the house. Yeah, Damn what? All your shit. Don't get caught outside your element. You know what I'm saying? Be careful. Watch yourselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't put too much trust in people. But, but, but you know, sometimes, though, as far as that, though, when it comes to pussy, I mean, shit, sometimes you just get caught in it. Yeah, you get caught in it. But shit, <laughs> nigga, you got to know who you dealing with. You know what I'm saying? Like, I deal with certain type of people. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, I agree. You know, I, I, I feel agree. like I feel like you should fuck with people who got something to lose. You know what, mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Who got something going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know pussy is pussy. You know, that's the way most motherfuckers think. Pussy is pussy. Right. You know, but everything that glitter ain't gold. You feel exactly, me? Exactly, bro. Like, shit. So, you know, like, you can get lost in the sauce if you want, but, you know, it's just like it is what it is. You Don't still got to be thinking. Everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, it's just like when you get to a certain level, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to start thinking about the certain level of people that you associate with. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And shit, it's just like you got to be careful. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you sh- it's okay to get to know a motherfucker sometimes, yeah, you know, to is. make sure that you're dealing with people who might have your better interests in right. mind. You know what I'm saying? They may not give a fuck about you, but at least they know they ain't, they ain't on no bullshit exactly, with you. Exactly, bro. Exactly. Hey, they ain't on no bullshit right. with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, because I know how it go. Like, you go out and kick it, you meet a bitch, you know what I'm saying, at the gas station, the club. You know, wherever the fuck niggas meet bitch bitches at, though. you know, it's just like, you know, you get the number, you know what I'm saying? You Shit, man, you already know you trying to fuck tonight. If you can. Say tonight. <laughs> if you can, because that's tonight. the goal. Because shit, I, I look at shit like, you know, when you walk up on a female, like, ain't nobody out here looking at a female like Shorty would be a good ass wife. Yeah. Shorty good be a good ass, ass baby mama. A good or ass friend. Mm-hmm. Like, no, nah, you looking at her like she look good. She got an ass. She got some titties. Fuck, bro. You know, whatever the case is, and you and that's the agenda. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to get out with her, and if this shit lead to something else, it is what it is. But when you know you ain't on that type of time, it's just the goal is like that's just another knot under your belt. That's right. what you're trying to do. So right. you know when you out here moving like that, man. That's even more important for you to make sure you good. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, mm-hmm. stop. Hey, you don't know what that bitch be on. You don't know who her baby daddy is. You don't know who her homeboy she kick it with. And if you looking like a stain, you fuck around and get guy. So protect yourself. Teach your thing. You know? And you take that however the fuck it is you want to take it, man. You Keep know what I'm saying? You, like, so... You know, with all that being said, shit, you know, I didn't feel like we gonna wrap this shit up. That's you know? up, man. Another episode, man. Another motherfucking episode. Thank y'all, man. Like and subscribe, you feel me? We appreciate that support, you man, hear me? For real. Like, continue liking and subscribing, yeah, man. you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, we only gonna get better, you know what I'm saying? Exactly, What's this, episode seven? Seven, man. You know? Like, we seven. got a long way to go, you know what I'm saying? But we fuck with this shit that we do. And Ooh, the man. people who've been fucking with us, we fuck with y'all. Exactly. You know man. what I'm saying? So continue fucking with us, man. You know what I'm saying? Continue to grow with us. And you know, I promise you, we're gonna build this shit and we're gonna make this shit something great. You know what I'm exactly, saying? Man. Shit. So, you know, once Keep again, us out, man. you know, hey, matter of fact, you know, we got the Opinion Hated Podcast Instagram page up right yeah. now. You know what I'm saying? So go on here, like and uh, yeah, like that shit. Follow us. You know what I'm saying? Come fuck with us. You know what I'm saying? Continue following the YouTube page. And once again, mm-hmm. this shit will be coming to DSP sometime in the near future. Yep. You know, sooner than later. So, you know, we working on all that shit right now. You know what I'm saying? So, once again, I'm Ace. I'm Joe, man. You know, this opinionated podcast. And we in the building too, man. Yes, sir. Let's go.